Welcome back to Let's Play Swordscape Shrace. No, sorry, sorry, no. I was just working on that game. I meant Swordscape Dos. Oh, well, you know what I mean. You've been watching this long. So now we're off to do a quest called Dirakian Treasure. I'd say it's a pretty good one. A fairly long one. Let's get started. It's in Nerovia. The third Nerovia quest. Uh. What? Uh. I'm a friend of Lucania's. So there he is, our old friend. And he greets me. It was only three years ago that I went back in time. So now I'm allowed into looking Oh and look at this. I think that's hilarious. There's a garden here. There's some shops, like right here. All the way up to the mythical two-handed. Actually, I've got some stuff to sell to you. I've got... Oh, I've got lots down here. A bronze skimmy. All of them. Bronze staff. Iron staff. How did I acquire so much junk? I dressed in black came and stole his map. The map is mine. This shows where I've hidden it. You'll never find it. So, if you look at all the blue letters, it says, The mine is where I've hidden it. Very obvious. I'm gonna go to the mine. That's a lot of walking, so I'll cut the video. So here we are at the mine. There's a letter over here, if you can make it through the mithril. Alright. It says that I have to bring it to the canyons. And I will, so I'll cut the video again. Here we are. Back here. And we're looking at the map. The tower is where we are, and we have to get past some rocks to this other place. So, we're gonna go ask the sailor if he can sail us there. And the sailor will agree. And look, there's a guy in the wall, and he scared us, and we fell out the window. That was pretty frightening. More on that later. Uh, if I give him three dead logs, then he'll fix his boat, and now he's on board for the whole sail trip. But now we know that there's some bizarre serial killer thing loose in the castle. Uh, do you guys see him yet? Do you see him? He's right there. Thought I'd point that out. So let's set sail. And the rocks are in the way. So drat. 
the guy's gone. So I have to find another way to the island. Oh, we'll, we'll talk to that guy another day. He's important. Don't get me wrong. But not important yet. So the other way to the island is through here. And a guy jumps out and push, pushes me. Pushes me into the water. And if I go back up, I can come out. But now I know that there's a secret thing under the water. It's a puzzle. My favorite. This one's one of the easiest ones because it's very straightforward. You just get the star. The color of the star disappears. Very easy puzzle, but they'll get harder. Finally, we need the yellow one, and the yellow one is down here. All sorts of loot, and we've got one more of these puzzles. And after this, we'll cut the video. Well, no, not quite, not quite. I want to see one more thing before we cut the video. So we're going up the ladder and a cutscene. That's it, pesky hero. Keep walking. Lead me right to the treasure. Who is this guy? Well, we're gonna cut the video. Alright, into the bizarre castle we go. There's a room up here, but it's locked. So we will go find the key to that. And there's a skeleton ghost. Got some RuneScape combat music going. You know what we need? We need to heal all of these people. Oh, by the way, I did some. I purchased some level ups for Sarah and the other guys too. That's why. Oh, I gotta remember that. Those teacups and whatnot. In here is a staircase key. Staircase key unlocks this. Alright, nothing there. It's good to search everything. Everything. search these pots. Nothing. Alright, we'll keep going. Second story. You know what, let's not search those things. Let's, let's do the puzzle. Do the good, fun part. These will get harder, especially in the sequel to this game, I think. There's a chest key, full potion bomb, all the stuff we need, all right here.
And I think we have the cell key. Yep. So now we got another door key. We gotta remember that pattern on the floor. Now we go to the right wing of the castle for more puzzles and fights and all that stuff. I found a staircase key. And here's a skeleton. Oh guys, do I have a tinderbox? Please have a tinderbox. Yes, okay. Because otherwise I'd have to head all the way back. Uh, you have to light them in that pattern with the tinderbox. And then pull up the switch, and if you're right, it'll make a little ringing noise. And then you can go. Well, I forget what that does. Another skeleton. Easy to beat. And now, we're gonna cut the video. Because I've reached that almost five minute mark where it won't process the video. Alright, through the door. Ah, uh, there's nothing here, I don't think. Did I come all the way up here for nothing? Yes, I did. Well, if I'm not... If I'm correct, I have both door keys, and it doesn't matter anyway. And here's another of these guys. of this whole quest. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. What? I know I have the door key. What's wrong? I'll be right back. Aha, guys. I forgot to open this chest. Stupid me. Let's go. Climax whole quest comes to an end. Sets up a lot of the storyline here. <coughs> we get to the treasure, but he, well, knocks us out. And he shovels it all into his sack. And give me the treasure. <coughs> Oh, and I have to fight one-on-one. -on -one. I forgot about that. Well, this can have taken a turn for the worst. And I keep missing, too. That's not good. Part of the treasure is gone. But we have some of it, and he'll give me a reward from it. And he'll continue to study that treasure. Thanks for watching. You guys are really awesome for coming back, subscribing, and all that. Till next time.